Hello and welcome to episode 26 of Bill Plays Atari Dark. Now, I've been watching a darts video to help me with my lifelong darts project. It's called The History of Darts. And in 1983, there was a player called Keith Dallin who beat Eric Bristow to win the World Championship. So, I suppose we could have Eric Bristow playing. He's, the, he's probably the most famous of the historical darts players. Uh, he got dartsitis famously, which is where he suddenly can't play properly. I think he passed away, which is sad. But he was he was fr from London, I believe, or that sort of area. Uh, and he's going to be playing a man in the pub, so MP, not member of parliament, but man in the pub. So if I press enter now. That works. So he's going to have a game. They're going to have a game of 901. And they're going to have double to start. And a skill level of 6. Why not? So I've set up the keys. The arrow keys are, are to move. And the control button shoots. Or, well, not shoots. Well, he throws, I suppose. So Eric Bristow's. Uh, has clearly still got star. He's clearly still can't talk. Eric Bristow has clearly still got dartsitis, but that's a reasonable score. What is it? Fifty-five. The man in the pub is going for the treble nineteens. This is quite difficult because you see, with the skill levels, the hand moves around more and more. Uh, I don't know if that's because they'd be drinking too much or too little. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now, Eric Bristow is wearing a nice red jumper. And he's got red hair. He was a blonde, I think, in real life. But he's come back from the dead. So that's a bit morbid. In this darts game, Eric Bristow has red hair. And so does the member of the public. Is it a man in the pub or a member of the public? It's a member of the public who is also a man in the pub. And he's going to go, for, oh, I forgot we're going for double to start. What am I doing? I've been wasting time. So the man in the pub gets off to the quickest start. Double 15, he's got it. Eric Bristow's, as soon as he remembered he was going for the double to start, he, he got away. So that's uh, 50 for Eric Bristow, bringing him to 851. So normally he'd play 901, I think. Is it 7? All right, we're playing 901. I'm not sure what you'd play in a pub. I think you'd play, I am sure, actually, I, I can't quite remember if it's 900 and what, so I'm not sure. Is it 901 you play or for 701 if you're playing doubles? If you're playing singles, you play five hundred and one in most in every in most situations. That's what the professionals tend to play when they're playing singles. It's five hundred and one, but you can play three hundred and one if you're if you if you want to. Perhaps if you're a beginner, I'm not a complete beginner, but I'm not very good at darts. But you know, it's all relative. You practice and then you get better. And the man in the pub is, is in the lead at the moment. Eric Bristow needs to catch up. So Eric Bristow, as I said, he was a Cockney. Uh, he was from London or thereabouts. I don't know where he was from exactly. Uh, but he was friends with... Um, because I've been watching this darts history video, 
he was friends with Phil Taylor. This is a boring game, isn't it? I shouldn't have chosen quite so many points. So anyway, this is episode 26 of 500. It's my life's work. Uh, I've been practicing darts mo mainly in the local community centre recently. But I haven't been doing much of that, so my, my life's work has been on hold. While I've been doing other important things like staying in bed all day. Which isn't quite it's very important, but you know, if if, if all you got up, if all you if you get up, if you need to get up to play darts, that's something to get out of bed for, isn't it? You know, work on your lifelong project. Anyway, it's now ten past nine in the evening, but I, I, uh, I, I got up quite late, but I didn't get up that late. It was a, uh, but I. So anyway, I, I can say it's a productive day because I, I'm working on my lifelong arts project for the, the Atari Darts. And I need to have some backups in case I in case I am disabled in some way and I can't complete my Atari Darts project. I need some volunteers to take over the mantle and complete my Atari Darts videos. So, if anyone's willing to volunteer, of course, it won't be called Bill Plays Atari Darts, unless you're also called Bill yourself. It could be, you know, Hermione Plays Atari Darts, or Harry Potter Plays Atari Darts, if that's what your name is. There must be some people called Harry Potter. And, of course, Pottery is what they do in Stoke-on-Trent, isn't it? I'm not sure. Is it Stoke-on-Trent or somewhere else? But that's uh, not relevant. Eric Bristow to throw. Treble 19. Single 19. Treble 19. So that's 7 times 19, which is 7 times 20 minus 7, which is 100 and... 133, which is a good score, but he's still only on 560, whereas the member of the public is on 279, thinking about how he's going to check out this 279. Single, tr no, treble 7, and a treble 3, that's a bit of a poor showing. Now Eric really needs to catch up. That's a good first start. Well done, Eric. So anyway, in the 1983 Championship, World Championship, Eric, is it Keith Dallin beat Eric Bristow. It was a fantastic match. Um, but then Keith Dallin disappeared off the scene and never really made much of a dent in the darting world. He's gone for trouble too, and he's got it. I, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? But it's all right to be silly sometimes. If anyone tells you off for being silly, tell them they're being silly by telling you off for being silly. It's okay to be silly. Eric Bristow with a solid 60. 186, you can't check it out. In three darts. That leaves 126. 106 remaining. And he hits the wire. Leaves 106 and out. And Eric Bristow's got it all to do on 360. 340 remaining. Is that a treble? No, it's a single. And I think that's a 19. No, it's a wire. 106 throwing. Can he get it in three darts? So, what's that? Treble 20 leaves 46. Uh, single 10. Oh, no, he's missed. Single 10. He can take his time because Eric Bristow's are way behind. 320 throwing for Eric Bristow. That's a good dart. 
So that's got a bit wild. Not even in the five, it was in the twelve. That was a poor showing. Right, double nine to win. Okay, I thought he won. I know it was uh he was double eighteen, that's what it said. So now it's double nineteen to win. Double nine to win. I did my calculations incorrectly there. I was aiming for the double 16, which is a bit of a nicer double, because then if you miss and you get the 16, you can go on to double 8 and then on to double 4 and so on. It's just a bit of a friendlier finish. Anyway, I'm sorry for being so boring. I hope you learned something about Eric Bristow and Keith Dallin. This isn't just uh, a pointless, gratuitous exercise. I, I aim to teach and educate and inform uh, with my 39 years of knowledge, which has got me nowhere. No, don't say that, Bill. That's horrible. I've, I've got a very nice life. Anyway, uh, I'll tune in soon. I might go and do a uh, anti-smoking video now. No one likes them. I've got about two fans who like my darts videos. So thank you for watching to you two and goodbye.